Connor, that's probably the definition of a hard earned point at home to the defending champions. Yeah, I think so. I think both teams probably feel they have a similar story from the season so far where probably could have more points on the board. So there's always going to be a bit of edge and a bit of bite. They had a good few bodies back in the team as well. So we were expecting a tough game, we got it. But you can see the resilience in the team, the togetherness, the willingness to knock up goals. And I think at the end of the game, I felt like we might we might get the chance because it looked like we were putting the pressure on, putting the pressure on. So encouraging signs, but you know, we have to improve now, kick on, keep improving in performances. The manager spoke during the week that there wasn't much time on the pitch, obviously with the game up in Dundalk on Monday night. How happy were you, obviously, with the five players you had in front of you? How happy were you with how organised you were, considering you maybe weren't on the pitch as much as you would have liked oh, to be? Like, you can trust these players so much, especially players like Paddy and Luke, bring the experience. I think calm, gav, young players, but just wise beyond their years, loads of ability. So probably have the easiest job in the league to be honest with you just they're so organised you can always trust in them they have a great chemistry as well so we have those conversations off the pitch anyway about little things to improve upon we have the post-match analysis you know where we'll talk and see what we could have done and all the players are so receptive with a staff of our calibre how could you not be so there's no worries when we weren't on the pitch for too long we knew we just needed to talk things through a little loosener a little refreshener the day before and we were good to go probably had a little bit of a panicky start now to the start of the game was a couple of balls put in behind and we settled into the game after that. Was that part of the plan? Maybe you now we're always going to come out of traps quickly. We need to just maybe break the game down into little. Well, I think just with the, with the quality Rovers have, they're going to have spells against teams at any point in the game. You know, look at last week; it was late on where they got a spell against against Cork and they created lots of chances. Just today, they came out of the traps fast, flying, tried to put us under loads of pressure, and it was a case of if that's how it was going to be, you stand up and be counted in the first ten minutes. Um, I actually thought we looked dangerous at times, picked the balls up in good areas. Maybe weren't as clinical or rootless on the ball as we could have been but we think we grew into the game um, and I just think again yeah the lads still giving it the start of the game which is probably the toughest period in the game really and uh, yeah we grew into it. Your job first and foremost to keep the ball out of the net and certainly off the top of my head two massive massive saves one the first half one the second half particularly the one down there at the Bally Bock ends with about 10 minutes to go everyone say looks your job to keep it out of the net but you must be happy just to any time you keep a clean sheet you're going to be happy in fairness to the lads I think they've limited other teams to pot shots and few chances really um, so it's just my responsibility that if a team does get a shot off to step up to the plate thankfully today one or two occasions I was able to but again you look at the areas we're conceding those chances we're not giving up guilt dead chances the players the opposition players would have had to come up with a bit of quality to find the back of the net there and look thankfully today I was able to keep it out as you say there, the calibre of players Rovers have, especially in that attacking third, they can make changes, they're not less than the quality. And we limit we limited them to, as you say, chances in knockery areas. They didn't really carve us open. It must be something that the group, everyone from one to eleven, from back to front, must be delighted with it. They were pleased to keep a clean sheet, especially against a team. They think they've I think they've had scored in every game this season, so we knew they have firepower up front. You look at the players are bringing off the bench. You know, even players are coming on like Trevor Clark coming on wing back, serious attacking threat. They've loads of ability going forward. So, yeah, well, look, we're happy to keep a clean sheet. From our perspective, we know there's things we can improve upon. We know ourselves going forward, we can improve upon. We know ourselves at the back, we can probably build a bit better and, and, and maybe not have to frustrate teams as much, but get a bit more of a foothold in the game. But yeah, look to keep a team. We have the attacking firepower that they have. Keep them out for 90 minutes is encouraging. The manager spoke Monday night about. You know, he was kind of sick of the sob story of, you know, we've played well, but we've come out with nothing. It was a game that we were probably well worth the point just for the defensive effort alone. Did you think we were maybe going to sneak it there towards the end and put them under a little bit of pressure? Yeah, I did. I thought we thought we showed a lot of maturity, I think, especially given some of the results last season against this side where they nabbed late goals. Um, we knew you know, that it could have been easy for us to kind of start hitting panic buttons and thinking, oh, we've been in this position before, but we seemed to grow even more, seemed to stand up and be counted a bit more and the effort and the, the confidence in ourselves was brilliant, it was a really encouraging sign. But it's something we have to kick on from now. Just, you know, we can't say pat ourselves on the back for getting a point at home. We want to win games at home as well. And we have to take that mentality, take that belief into the next couple of weeks. Talking about the next couple of weeks, obviously we're down in Cork next Friday. It's five o'clock kickoff, I think, Paddy's day. You get a decent travelling crowd, that's for certain. It's one of those games where Cork, most people probably from the outside looking in might be below us a little bit but it's the type of place you go and you don't get an easy game down in Cork so how would the, the game plan maybe differ going down to Cork next week? Well I think again we've been growing week on week and I think our principles don't really change you know we have to stick to our principles and we can't overly adapt to who we're playing and um, the most important thing for me is that we don't get a, a shot going out to turn us across some of the lads might not have gone down there but they've had a real lift in the last couple of last couple of years I played down there it can be a tense place to go it was famous for a long time not an easy away trip 
Um, I think they were probably unfortunate to give up points at home early on in the season. They got a great result in Tala on Monday. So for us, we just have to be prepared to be fire with fire at times in the game. But again, bring a bit more quality as we have been doing week on week. And then, look, we have to back ourselves to go and get three points because we'll do that against anyone this year. Just going back to tonight's game, keepers always say, oh, if I don't have to touch the ball much, it's always a good night. You popped up with two, three really, really good saves tonight. Is it true you're quite happy to not touch the ball or do you like maybe pitching in with one or two just to keep yourself busy? I have to be because a lot of time I don't have to touch the ball in fairness. I don't think I touched the ball for the first three games. So, look, I think with our back line, I have so much confidence in them that I'm happy just to see them put in the effort, work hard, keep people at bay. And when I'm called upon them, hope to be ready more often than not to try and do something. But yeah, look, if I don't have to touch a ball, we keep a clean sheet and it gives us a better platform to play. Ultimately, it's about the best, what's best for the team, what's best for the club. Just for yourself, how are you fitting in? Obviously, you signed from outside Dublin. It must be nice to be back. Obviously, you're in the full-time environment still. How have you found Shells just as a club? Love it. Absolutely love it. I mean, for a long time, I, I've been invested in the League of Ireland and Shelburne is a club with such a history. And I think in the last couple of years, it's been obvious to everyone the way the culture has been grown in the club. Um, it's such an exciting place to be playing football with the staff, with the calibre of players, with the support we get. I think it's the back-to-back -back home sellouts. Mm -hmm. So to be playing in fixtures like this, to be representing a club like this, what more could you ask for? I've absolutely loved it and hopefully many more good nights ahead with them. Really, Connor, thanks a million. Cheers, lads. Thanks very much.